hi guys how are you I'm doing good um, got back from the store a little while ago uh, I did go to Hobby Lobby and um, the clearance section was cleared out <laughs> I was so bummed but you know what that's okay I got some yarn and I'm happy with that you know what I mean although I did find some things that were kind of hidden um, so I grabbed those this is not something I would normally buy but because I like the sugar wheel cotton very much I got all the little dollops that were left and the reason why I got them is because um, like I said I love I love the cotton um, Heidi after I I can't get her name, her new name. I won her giveaway um, a little while back, and she put a sugar wheel cotton in there, and it was so soft. I really just love the feel of it, and I made me a little shawl with it. And um, I went and bought another cake to make it bigger because I really enjoyed it. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm just going to take them all. Um, I have several. This color here, I have five of them, and, and together it's like 500 and something yards. I did the calculations, so I could do a little shawl with this, or um, a shawlette, or even a, uh, a hooded bandana. So this particular color I have five of. Picnic at the park, is that the colorway? I guess so, because this one says what? Plum body loves you. <laughs> yeah, plum body loves you. This plum body <laughs> loves you. <laughs> um, it's two of those. And then there was another color, which one is it? Let's see, this one is Savannah Sonnet. And I think it was only two of these. I don't remember now. Are they all, are they both different? Yeah, this one's different. Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. So there's one of each of this and two of those. The Plum Body Loves You and then Tuesday twirl, just one of those, and like I said, five of the uh, picnic in the park. Um, I also found these. These were 79 cents. These were $1.12, and they were only all in the same color, so I got three of them. There was more left, but I really don't use these colors. Um, but I figured, you know what, I'll get them, and then I could make some um, washcloths or... Uh, dishcloths for the springtime and give them away another thing that was there was this here and i got this for a dollar 62 normally 5.99 wow this is a symphonia 100 percent cotton and the color is mestizado turquesa pretty colors yeah that's about right there so it was only one, so I've got to see what I make with that. I don't know. Um, and then another thing that I got, and this was at Joanne's. I got more of the yarn, so I got it already attached, and I'm working on getting this finished. So I thought I'd show you that. And then, yeah, still at Joanne's. These were $6.99 on sale normally $10.99 and I thought this was a really pretty color it's called uh, pumpkin spice so it's a little bit brighter on there it's, more, it's a little bit more muted but yeah man that is so pretty and 16,000 so 16,000 16 ounces so 1,020 yards very nice but this really caught my eye I should have bought more but this <laughs> I didn't want to overspend this is gorgeous it looks brown there or plum depending on where but you know what this is it says claret 
that the colorway is claret, which is different than the one that I use to make my son's blanket. But it's so pretty. This said fall to me when I saw it. Gosh, I want to go up get more just because it's so pretty and so soft. Man, it's beautiful. I want some more of it. <laughs> I should have bought more. Uh, I just need to, I, I really need to be careful. I don't, I don't have, yeah, never. <laughs> so last night, oh my gosh, I'm hooked on these, you guys. These were so fun to make. I did all these last night where we watched a couple shows before going to bed. <laughs> and I have different sizes. This is the only one I made with an eye hook. I did 36 chains. And then I used an H hook, 36 change, change, chains. And then these two are the same size and I used the H hook and I did 32 chains. And so you get the, the different sizes. You can see the different sizes. I believe this one measured eight inches. This was seven and three quarters. And I believe this was seven inches. So, yeah, I'm addicted. And I still have, this is a, one of the big cottons. And I forget which one it is. But I think I could still get another set like this out of it, it looks like. It doesn't, yeah, this is, I'm addicted. I'm addicted. At first, I didn't think I could do this. I thought, man, how do they do that? And now, <laughs> now I'm addicted. <laughs> so, anyway. So that was my... My purchases for today. Put this in here so I can take it back to the living room easily. Um, I kind of wanted to go over something that I mentioned because I just realized that I know I, I've said I don't do patterns, which is true, but mi amor, who is Z from uh, oh my gosh, I drew a name on your channel name, mi amor, how can that happen, NRJ? Oh, shame on me. And I've been watching her for a long time. Anyway, everybody knows Z. If you don't know Z, you've got issues. I'll link her channel down below. <laughs> anyway, she gifted me the Down the Rabbit Hole from Erin. Um, give me yarn 418. And I was able to do that. But let me tell you why. There were stitches I knew, and it was written in a way that I could understand. Now, I did need help because certain things confused me because I'm used to working freehand and just going. I don't know how to explain that. It's almost like if I have to stop and think about what is being said, I'm like, what? And it's where it starts increasing, you know, and that kind of stuff when I'm doing it myself it's it's different I don't know how to explain it I'm just I'm working and I know what I'm doing <laughs> but reading it it's almost like it put a block you know I'm like what is she telling me to do here <laughs> and so anyway I made that shawl for my mom and I don't think I ever showed the finished product. I don't even have it because it, my mom has it. But anyway, I was able to do that and it took me a long time. It's never taken me a long time to finish something like that because I'm used to just picking up my hook and working. So I did want to say it's not that I've never done a pattern. I just don't because other I mean I've I've seen things and I'm like oh that's so pretty and then I'm looking at everything and I'm like it, it might as well be German or something because I don't I just don't understand that so but I am excited to 
to uh, try out the crossbody from Angie because I've been looking through the pattern and I just love the way she broke everything down. So I think I'm going to be successful. And I know if I have any questions that I can easily reach her. So that's not gonna be a problem. I'm excited. I didn't find any chunky yarn at all. So I'm kind of sad about that. And, and I don't really have I know I keep saying this, but it's the truth, you guys. I don't have a yarn collection like a lot of you guys have. And even like a lot of the yarns that I bought don't speak to me to make this. Especially for the time of the year that I want to make it. I was hoping to find like some pretty browns or uh, like a pretty chunky charcoal or something that says fall. Or cold weather you know I don't know maybe it's just me I have no idea but anyway I was looking for something in particular to make this pattern with and I didn't have any success there was no chunky yarn on clearance <laughs> but I'll come up with something watch I'll come up with something and I know I could hear you someone say use double strand I hate doing that I feel like I'm wasting yarn when I do that. You know, I don't know. It's weird. One of those things is, you know, it's loco en la cabeza. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. Anything else? I don't think so. I think that's it. I, I found me some goodies. Not necessarily something I would buy, but, you know, I'm... That's not bad. I mean, the, everything that I got from Hobby Lobby was 12 bucks. And uh, the stuff I got from Joanne's was 20 bucks. So, not bad. Not bad. For some reason, I thought there was something else I was going to tell you guys, and I don't know. Oh, this reminded me of Pam, which I, I shared her channel yesterday. So, working with the baby blanket, because I started working with the uh, pot holders, I picked up a hook and I thought, oh man, which one was I using? And I've heard other people talk about this, and I can't remember off the top of my head who it was. <laughs> but, you know, they always leave their notes or a tag or something with their bag and what they're using but I started crocheting with my eye hook and I thought you know what the stitches don't look the same but I kept going I thought maybe my tension and then I realized I was making the blanket with the H hook that's one of my biggest problems is I'll put these I'll put my hooks back where they belong and if I'm not working on the project or because I was waiting for yarn, I'll put it away. But I won't keep them together because I don't have a lot of hooks like a lot of you have. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I can't keep them with the project because if I want to use it on something else, well, there it is. But I think the only one that I have, like, plenty of is the J-hook. That's my favorite hook. So I do have maybe three maybe four of the J-hook, but all the other hooks that I've started using recently, I don't have a lot of because I didn't use them a lot. It was always my J-hook. But here recently, I really enjoy using the I and the H for the smaller hooks. For the bigger ones, I do like the um, K and L. Um, and I've used, I don't know what size it is. If I think it might be a Q. I've used a P and a Q, I think, for a really, really thick yarn that was given to me, and I made a, a I don't know what I made with it, a cowl, I think. I'll have to show it. I, I have to do my throwbacks. I haven't done that. Um, that's because I've been doing other things, thankfully. <laughs> that was my backup. It's just, you know, it's showing you things I've made. <laughs> so I will, I will do that. <laughs> so I'll look for that particular one and show you what I made with my big hook. <laughs> But I think I'm done, guys. Um, I have to uh, remember to, to get myself organized so that I'm not con 
you guys know the story of my first blanket. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go back and hang out with my family and uh, crochet and, you know, catching up with you guys. And uh, here soon, probably just uh, watch some TV. I need to figure out dinner. I don't know what to make today. I love to cook, you know, but with the way I have to eat and uh, sometimes I get tired of it. <laughs> Especially dinners. I think uh, right now it's easier for me to do breakfast and lunch because I basically just cook for myself because my husband is sleeping. And uh, dinners get more of a hassle for me because sometimes I have to make something different. Sometimes for all of us, we've got issues. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are having a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, whatever time it is wherever you're at, and I will see you mañana.